so I'm trying not to cry. I've just been attacked by a crow. Good morning. Let's address the volume in there right now. I just blow dried it. I've not styled it yet. Did like the lightest makeup ever just to feel a little put together. It is like not even 9 a.m. right now on Friday, the start of festival weekend, Coachella weekend one, which I'm not going to. Let me explain. I also need coffee, I have not even done that, but it's not even 9 a.m. and I have filmed content for a brand. My face wasn't in it, so, or my hair, I guess, so we're fine there. I need to shoot some more stuff for a brand, I need to edit that, I've like already showered and everything, I've packed. People go so all out, like, are these things music festivals or are they about fashion? Because I feel like everyone I know is just like, so all about their outfits. I'm actually just attending Revolve Festival. I sold my music festival ticket a while ago. This is all a little bit last minute, so like I'm not even staying with my friends because um, I thought that I wasn't gonna go this weekend because I've had a plan. Before I realized that like the new rescheduled dates for like this weekend, before I realized when they were rescheduled to, I had already booked and planned a trip to go to Mexico with Giselle next Tuesday to Friday. And so going this weekend has me getting back here on Monday. So it's a bit back to back and it's always a very exhausting weekend, but I last minute decided that it would be fun and I might as well go to Revolve Festival. What I was going to say is that I feel like people just go so all out with their outfits and like stress so much about it and like <laughs> plan these things out and get like so high fashion with it. And I love to see it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating. I love to see it, but that is not me. I am never... I'm just not, I don't know, I'm not that fashionable perhaps or I don't have that many ideas because I've always been someone that just like throws things together at the last minute. This year was no exception. So I was trying things on last night like with Giselle and like I've styled her, I've got her. <laughs> but I'm very excited, I have so much to do. I feel like this like excitement and stress and nervousness and just like adrenaline all together. It's just, I'm just behind, it feels like. And last night I went to pick up my Revolve Festival wristband and my like neon carnival wristband, which is uh, like an after party that I've always wanted to go to. I like don't even know, I don't even know if it's gonna be fun. I really don't know. And it like starts so late, so we'll see if I actually even make it to that on Saturday night. But I've always like, like never been able to get an invite like I've tried and it's just so like exclusive and whatever which like is so stupid like at the end of the day like trust me I really am just like I've always been so curious about what this party is and I finally got an invite I was picking up all these wristbands running around LA and the stress in the air with all these people just the conversations I was overhearing and like the panic the panicked energy, it was just everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna get to work on my to-do list as much as possible. I am picking Giselle up from work at like 3.30 and we are going to drive straight there. I have a dinner reservation if we make it in time. I don't know what to expect from traffic. This is the longest intro to be taking place at my home. Well, the point of this vlog is a bunch of fun festival stuff coming up. So um, I will pick it up when we're on the way. And thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited. I belong, I belong to you. All right, we have made it out. We are listening to, well, we listened to a crime podcast. Now we're listening to Love Island. We've been watching UK season five, if anyone's watched it. Why are there so many episodes in the show? The good news is they gossip so much, so you can just listen to it. You don't even need to actually be watching it, so it's a good road trip show. I've been driving for like two and a half hours, and we still have two hours to go to get there, so this traffic is no joke. How are you feeling, Giselle? I'm tired. <laughs> quiet so it's like a nice gated community so i'm gonna keep it the volume low look how beautiful it's giving like santa barbara you know giselle just powered through that like five hour drive killed it all right this is the outfit of the night this little lacy cami number my favorite jeans i've been wearing lately i have these in like a light wash pair and dark that are from revolve we are heading out to a very late dinner I kept pushing the reservation back as we were driving and traffic was getting worse so we're going to an 8:30 dinner at this place i found on open table called morgan in the desert or something morgan's in the desert i don't know and i was like well i'm in the desert so it made sense to go there so we're gonna go eat <laughs> Good morning. I found 
filmed it. Giselle's favorite thing, being on camera. Mm -hmm. Is this locked? Oh, what? as if I don't know the code, I'm an idiot, okay. It is Saturday morning. It's actually like one o'clock and I'm gonna whisper this because one of us living here has respect for the neighbors. I literally could not sleep. We're on like the bottom floor. We're up to like what, 4 a.m.? Literally, they, no. 5 a.m.? They got home at like three. They were up until 7 a.m. I kept looking at the clock. These people staying above us. I can understand it's Coachella weekend, it's a wild time, whatever. But this like development has like the strictest rules about like absolutely everything. It's like a very quiet like place to be. Like look, silence. You just hear the birds chirping. There's not even a street nearby, like it's silent. I woke up at like three in the morning, two people, literal elephants coming in upstairs and could not sleep literally until like 7 a.m. when I was actually just so exhausted that I fell asleep, but the noise was still going. Giselle's not even a light sleeper. I'm like not even easily bothered. Like it's not even an exaggeration. Like it's I know, I know. I don't get like how they walked around for four hours. Like how are you walking like, for four hours? Like, sit, sit down. I'm really racist up there. <laughs> getting all 10,000 steps before sunrise. Anyway, so Giselle was so nice. I went and picked up some coffee and I'm gonna do my makeup out here and I'm gonna get the show on the road, try to wake up. Heading out. We're both matching in our little cargo shorts. shorts. Or, or whatever. <laughs> Look, I didn't sleep. <laughs> I feel awkward now. Show my fit. This is the um, fit. Cargo pants as well. <gasps> did I get eyeshadow? <gasps> I did. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> They're a little bigger on the waist because um, this is just the size they had in stock. So I've tried safety pin and safety pin in it. <laughs> Still thinks working. So don't mind the crotch is a little low. Woo! Hot. And then, and then this is the top. Fun. Thank you so much. This is literally the most infuriating system every single year where you wait in line for hours. So we've been in line for like two hours. fried chicken sandwich with mac and cheese balls, a burger and fries. We're sharing it all, like literally the pinnacle of health right now, but we just walked like 10,000 steps just to get to an Uber, so it's fine. Welcome to Sunday. <laughs> Giselle and I are heading out. It's like almost noon. We're gonna go get a little brunch, which sounds exciting. Today we are on no agenda because we are not going back to a Revolve Festival. You know, really what a time. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> We're also matching. We're both wearing like denim shorts and a black tank top because I packed like only my outfits to like wear to the festival or whatever. Um, and I'm not just gonna wear rolling up to brunch, so our only normal outfit is a little twinning uniform. <laughs> Day, I would say we keep going like to the same little like resort thing oh, oh, oh. Tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Like all the restaurants we're going to are over here. I am kind of excited because now we have this open day We're going to Mexico on Tuesday. So originally we we're gonna be going home tomorrow on Monday So we'd have like half the day to like do laundry get our lives together like mentally prepare pack again for Mexico to leave Tuesday morning, but I think what we have decided 
pending confirmation. I think we're going to just go home tonight. Um, but maybe take advantage, while well, I've already paid for this very expensive Airbnb, um, maybe take advantage of like going to the pool or something in this heat, since I don't have a pool in LA, so we'll see. Deadass just been attacked by a crow or something. Twice, twice, it ran into the back of my head. It flew into the back of my head twice. I've actually been attacked by a bird. This weekend is, I'm done. I resigned. I hate birds. I don't know what talking about it. No, I don't want to say it. You need to be airlifted out of here when we leave. Another bird just like flew right behind me and I like panicked. I'm like, what is it? Does he hate me? Did he sense my anti-bird energy? Or is it like my bun looks like, birds aren't that intuitive, but does my bun look like a nest? Sharing a little chicken Caesar. Got a veggie flatbread with goat cheese, balsamic, like some pesto. It's always my favorite, like pizza combination. Cause I don't like red sauce for whatever reason. Got a Bloody Mary going on. All right, we are now at the Pandora event. This is what you call an event that prepared for how many people are here. <laughs> this is so calm. What? I'm okay. Not me thinking Giselle is just bringing me a water because I did not ask for a drink, it is tequila. The AC is blasting. Yeah, that one. Um, she was such a good performer. That was so fun. We literally just like got here for the concert, watched it, and then left, so it like worked out perfectly. It's very nice, and we're now driving home straight to LA. Nothing like a Comfy car ride fit, like this corset top. I forgot how many songs, like I've just recently been getting into Charlie XCX, like her new songs I'm really a fan of, but she started with like throwbacks and I forgot like songs she sang, like that Boom Clap song and what was the other one? Anyways, that's a wrap on our attempt of a festival weekend, I guess. I guess we'll be driving in the dark for a little bit, but not not too bad. Not too much, no. My chauffeur is always. <laughs> yeah, that my was like What? Yeah, and this could be really important. Made it back to LA. <laughs> We're at like a 9 p.m. dinner and to watch the Love Island finale from the season we've been watching forever. Really been going in on the, <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> My legs hurt. Really been going in on the junk food these past few days, but we have walked so much. Like literally my shins hurt from when we had to power walk. I know exactly when it's from. So from where we were staying, it was like a gated neighborhood. She just ran. And you had to, I know literally, you had to like, Ubers couldn't come in because it's like very like quiet, private neighborhood vibe, except for the people above us upstairs. But so the Ubers can't come to you, and we didn't know that. And then it was like, oh, the Ubers here. Oh, it's like a mile to the exit, no problem. But I, was trying, I didn't want to run. Honestly, I can like power walk as fast as I can run, but I don't know. It was some stress on my shins and they hurt. But we're in our little shirts we got from Pandora. Look at the back. Charlie XCX. Reminder: be social, Morgan. <laughs> Giselle just asked if this bracelet is a reminder to myself to be social <laughs> when I'm not feeling it, which is fair. No, it's so fair. Because I love I not being it. social as much as the next person. Well, you'll be standing there and you'll maybe you'll look at your wrist and be like, oh, okay, maybe I should go talk to some people. <laughs> no, what? Uh, that was the name of the like brand or agency or something that me and Caitlin went to that like gifting suite for the other day. Also, we just finished. Love Island UK season five. I'm not gonna get spoilers just in case, but if you watched it, give me your thoughts in the comments because I'm um, pretty upset. <laughs> Very upset. <laughs> I gotta go to bed. Yeah.